Hi guys, it's Cora. We're at Rainforest Adventures Discovery Zoo, and I have someone for you to meet. This is Beetlejuice. She is a California king snake. What's your bite? Well, technically, yes. She's not gonna bite you, I promise. Unless you smell like a rat, she doesn't want to bite you. I don't smell like a rat. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I spent the day at Rainforest Adventures with the zookeeper, Madison. And we want you to come along. Hi, my name is Madison. I study biology and animal care at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and I'm a zookeeper here at Rainforest Adventures. We started out with the reptiles. They're my favorite. Especially this bearded dragon. She's getting that bearded dragon out for you to hold. Her name is Skeeter. I want to say she is around three to four years old. They live on average about 10 to 12 years. Madison told us that bearded dragons are a common pet. What do you think about that bearded dragon? You like it? Yes. My mom wouldn't let me keep the bearded dragon. So I gave her back to Madison. Maybe one day my mom will let me have a reptile for a pet. But until then, I'll just come back to Rainforest Adventures because they have lots of reptiles. When Madison handed me this California king snake, I just knew I'd get to take her home. California king snakes hunt venomous snakes. So I thought she would be pretty good to have around. But my mom said no. So snakes are cold-blooded. Do you know what that means? That means that they have cold blood, so they need to keep warm like under water. Yeah, so they cannot control oh their body temperature. Yeah. They have to warm up based on the sun or if they need to cool off they have to get in the shade sweet sweet girl we take her out almost every day tons of people hold her she's used to it if you go train force adventures and you get to hold beetlejuice tell her i said hi so they can come in different colorations some are more black or more white than others Kind of like how somebody could have brown hair, somebody could have blonde hair, similar to that. So, I have a question for you. Do snakes sleep? Yeah, so they do. So, but a lot of people think that they don't because snakes actually don't have eyelids. What did you think about holding that snake? I loved it. I wasn't afraid to hold Beetlejuice because I've held this Burmese python on my last trip to Rainforest Adventures. They have mammals too. Mom, can I have a lemur? You're crazy. Oh, but he's so cute. And this little tamarind is super cute. While you're at Rainforest Adventures, don't forget to go outside because you can feed and pet the goats. We got bags of feed from the ticket counter. I've been coming to Rainforest Adventures since I was two. And I feed the goats every time. This little guy was my favorite. I would love to have a goat like him one day. But I didn't even ask mom if we could bring him home because I knew that she would say, No. They have Australian sheep, too. Make sure you feed with a flat hand. They like to nibble fingers. Look at the horns on this guy. 
They also had emu and tortoises. This tortoise tried to eat my shoe last time. Madison had some squash, so we fed this little tortoise. Watch your fingers. This was a hungry little tortoise. Make sure you don't miss what's behind these doors. This is Sheba. She is an African serval cat. Mm -hmm. So similar to a cheetah. So she's one of the only cats in the world that has stripes and spots. When I was two, they really liked my leopard print pants. Around the corner, we saw some monkeys. Do you like Cheerios? I do, and so do these capuchin monkeys. Madison took me behind the ropes and gave me this bowl of Cheerios to feed the monkeys. We definitely have to wash your hands after this. So, another fun fact. Monkeys actually pee on their hands and they touch things with it. Typical monkey behaviors, they'll throw poop at us, they'll try to throw it through the screen. This is the daddy, the mommy, and the baby monkey. So unfortunately, Puff actually came from a research lab. I was glad to see Puff enjoying his best life with his family at Rainforest Adventures. I was able to pet one bird. He loved it. Ah! I really enjoyed speaking to the cockatoos. Hello. 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 I wanted to pet these birds, but I needed to keep my fingers. I tried to get Roro to talk to me. She just shook her head no. We fed the rest of our squash to the guinea pigs. Guinea pigs make good pets. Did I get to bring any home? Nope. The guinea pigs were full, so we moved on to the axolotls. I first heard about axolotls in Minecraft. My mom didn't believe me that they were real. Look, mom, axolotls. Guess what? You might not be able to take home any of the other animals, but you can really take home an axolotl if your parents will let you. Because while we were there, they were selling axolotls in the gift shop. We've got our surplus for sale because they were, we actually hatched 222 babies. Wow. That's a lot of babies. A lot, a lot of babies. Aren't they cute? Mm -hmm. They're an aquatic salamander from Mexico. They're nearly extinct in the wild, but they obviously do very well in captivity. See, they're pink. Those are cute too. Boy. Oh, I like the pink ones. Yeah, lots of people like the pink ones. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Those mm -hmm. looks like the ones from Minecraft. Yep, I was, just, I was just about to ask you if you played Minecraft. You may be anxious to pick out a souvenir, but don't forget to see the porcupines. I met George when I was two. Do you think he remembers me? Before we left, I had to ask Madison about the weird food that she gives her animals. So the weirdest food that we feed our animals is we give our monkeys mice. So obviously not live mice, but we will give them little mice that they actually eat. And then we give our axolotls earthworms that we dig up outside. I also asked her how Rainforest Adventures gets their animals. 
So we get most of our animals from donations. People will actually give them to us either from other zoos or they will have them as pets and they just can't take care of them anymore or they just want us to have them. And so that's where we get most of our animals here. Somebody put this guy into a river when he was a baby. Some people will release them into the wild, so that's how we found him. Thank you, Madison, for showing us around. Here's a tip. If your parents tell you you can get a souvenir in the Smoky Mountains, save it for the gift shop at Rainforest Adventures. You're going to love this place so much that you're going to want a souvenir from here. Rainforest Adventures is a great place to get a souvenir. Look! Now I'm thinking about this too. I'm trying to decide which one to pick, snake or sloth. Well, maybe you should just get them both. Yeah. Looks like I get to take home some animals after all. Share this video with your family. And make sure you visit Rainforest Adventures during your Smoky Mountain family vacation.